cube plus xp equal to p square. So this is an nonlinear equation because p has power 2. So this is uh, p square is there, therefore nonlinear equation. Therefore we will use Sharpett's method to solve this question. So f of x y is at uh, p q is equal to q plus x p minus p square is equal to 0. Now we know that uh, by Sharpett's method, uh, what is the uh, auxiliary equation dx by minus f p equal to dy by minus f q is equal to dz by minus p f p minus q f q equal to d p by f x plus p f z equal to d d q by f y plus q f z okay now now first we will find out what is f p so if you differentiate uh, this with respect to p then you will get f p equal to all other terms we will uh, consider as constant only p then x minus up so what is minus f p this is uh, x minus x plus 2 p. similarly what is f q f q is only there is one term q so that is one therefore minus f q is equal to minus one then p f p plus q minus q f q is equal to this now what is dp First we will find out what is fx there are only one term x that is xp and all other terms we will consider as constant so that is p and what is fz there is no z term therefore that is equal to 0 now what is fy there is no y term therefore this is equal to 0 so dp by fx is equal to fx equal to p do fz this becomes 0 and dq by 0 now now we will take okay we will take these two these two equations and we will group then what we will get minus dy equal to minus dy equal to dp by dp by dp by p so now we can uh, integrate this because here if you integrating this you will get d uh, integral minus y dy is equal to minus y and integral 1 by p is equal to log p plus a constant log c so therefore y equal to minus y equal to log p c because we know that log a plus log b is equal to log a b now if you take exponential on both sides you will get e raised to minus y equal to p c which implies from here we will get p equal to 1 by c e raised to minus minus y now i am taking a equal to 1 by c therefore therefore you will get p equal to a into e raised to minus 1. Now from 1, equation number 1, what is equation number 1? 1 is, uh, you just, one is q plus xp, this is 1 is q plus xp minus p square is equal to 0. Now from here, if we substitute, we will get q equal to p square minus xp which is equal to p square is a square minus e raised to minus 2y minus ax e raised to minus y now now we will get uh, now we will now we got p and q p and q uh, we got we got p and q p and q so we can now write dz is equal to p dx plus q dy then 
dz is equal to a p is minus a y dx plus a square minus 2 y minus a x e raised to minus y dy. So this can be written as is equal to e raised to minus a y dx minus e raised to minus a x into e raised to minus y dy plus a square into e raised to minus 2 y dy. Now this is dz. Okay. Now we can uh, write uh, what is the uh, derivative of what is derivative of x e raised to minus y? This is we know that x into derivative of e raised to minus y that is minus e raised to minus y dy plus e raised to minus y into into dx. So it implies if you multiply on a that is a then you will get ax into a e raised to minus y. So a e raised to minus y minus this you can return as this quantity you can return as a into e raised to a into derivative of e raised, x e raised to minus y plus a square into e raised to minus 2 y dy. Now we can easily integrate. So the important step is you have to identify this is equal to derivative of a into derivative of x e raised to minus y. Okay. Then if you integrate on both sides, you will get z equal to a x e raised to minus y plus a square e raised to minus 2 y plus b and all divided minus 2 plus b. So this is the final answer.